Now you're just gonna have to deal with this. Okay. Oh, that's why it's... Yeah, I'm a derp. Okay, hello to the people on YouTube. I am sorry for the long hiatus on videos. I am sorry for not posting things. I have several projects ongoing. One is the Xbox. One is a Windows 98 computer. Uh, focus. That I'm going to be doing all brand new parts. Like, I'm going to use this use case because it matches the theme of Windows 98. But this is going to be a completely new computer. With mostly old, but some new stock parts. Never skimmed out on a power supply. Anyways, so today's video is going to be me fixing uh, someone's computer. Let me double check the name. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I've been up 48 hours. Uh, her name is Brittany. I'm not giving any other information on that. Um, I am doing that so I can start labeling people's computer builds on YouTube. Uh, repairs, things like that. Well, I'll do it more often. She asked me to take a look at her computer. It was having weird issues. Simply put, she would go to turn it on. Black screen. Reboot. Nothing. Fan spun up. Everything worked. She tried simple diagnostics, like reseeding the RAM. None of that worked. So she asked if I could take a look at it. And when I got it to my house, well, she brought it to my house, I noticed something similar to something I've experienced before. I don't know what causes it, but sometimes when a drive fails, it does a really weird thing. It basically makes the computer non-functional. Um, I know some personal experience. This little 2 terabyte drive right here, which is now gunky, and I use that as a paperweight. Um... When that one failed on my gaming computer, the Ryzen build that you've seen on a previous video, I had the same exact symptoms. So I'm like, wait a minute, this looks familiar. Let me go ahead and disconnect the drives. And after I did that, I hooked it to my TV. I have a complete on setup over here. I'm going to do a video on that. And lo and behold, I managed to get it to boot the BIOS. So I'm like, let's see how far we can take this. Is this the fix? I went ahead and hooked up an SSD of my own that has a copy of Ubuntu on it, which I normally use for diagnostics, and I booted straight into Ubuntu. No issues, no nothing. So I'm like, okay, first we need an SSD. Then, when I took the SSD out, I noticed it wasn't mounted at all. It was literally just sitting in the bottom of the case. Don't ever do that. These little brackets, these are... This is five bucks. It includes two 2.5 to 3.5 adapters, which will allow you to house an SSD inside the case, inside a normal hard drive bay. Also, I noticed when I turned it on, the fans were failing. They were making very awful noise. Um, so, I gave her two options. Two that I normally use. One is Arctic. I currently use their cooling fans on my 2U server. I have no issues out of them, and I like the aesthetic, black and white, looks pretty cool. And then I priced her the rebuild and repair with Noctua's. So we have enough Noctua fans to completely do, redo all her fans. The reason being, if one of those fans was failing and two of them didn't even match up, not the same brand or anything, let's just go ahead and replace all the fans because the others might fail completely. Like one already did. So she's getting four NF12 premium high static pressure high flow fans. Uh, one will be mounted to her CPU cooler. Three to the front of Please ignore that. Three to the front of the case. And then a 140 millimeter brand new fan in the back. This has a higher pressure, which should equalize everything. And allow it to pull the air on through. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on with the teardown. I'm going to do two versions of this video. High speed, low speed. Alright, let's go. Okay, if you notice, this 
this case. Make sure you can see it. This case is completely filthy. However, if I remember right, she said she had pets and stuff, which will cause, like, well, you'll see. Say hello to the dirt. And, uh, well, I already pulled the heat sink out because I wanted to see what kind of chip this had in it. They had more dirt. Now, this, like I said, is normal. This computer is pretty old. Well, not that old. It has an Intel Core i7 uh, 5820K. So it's about five ish years old. Um, has a Corsair RX. Oi. No, RM750X power supply. So that'd be 750 watts. As you can see, it has three fans up front. It has a nice bay setup for the for two. It looks like uh, we 5.25 millimeter drives, and even has an adapter for a hard drive or floppy drive, whatever you want in there. It also has these sleds here. Oh, um, let's see. As you can see, she originally had also a two terabyte Western Digital Black. This. I'm running, going to be running through my server to make sure it works. Uh, let's see. Wow, people are now drinking bleach to try and fight a certain virus that we shall not name. Anyways, let's continue on. As you can see, like this is normal. I don't think this has ever been cleaned really. And I checked the thermals of Ubuntu. This actually still cooled really well. I do not have the footage for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on. Now, something I like about this case. It has three 120mm slots. This can also fit uh, 140mm in the front. Not sure how many yet. And the back can fit both a 120 and 140. As well as an 80mm up top. And it looks like radiator support on the very top of the case. Yep. Uh, this case is also almost fully can be disassembled. Uh, so first things first, I already got the cooler out. Let's go ahead and get the video card out next. I will also be trying to use all new case screws for this. Let's see, get my screwdriver. Ow! Remember, put the panel on the side of the bed. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not doing this on a table. Personally, I've never had issues with static electricity. Ever. And as components get newer, and you can even check out some of Jay's Two Cents videos on this. They literally started to charge themselves up with static and shocked at pretty much every component in a computer. Nothing happened. Uh, that's just because compo components have become more robust over time. Uh, let's see. Find out exactly what video card she has. That didn't sound good. However, that is completely fine. While this has thumb screws, this person screwed them in pretty tightly. Let's see, where is the. There's the latch. And there she comes. She has a gigabyte. Well, it's not even marked. Oh. There, that went. Yeah, the screw. Uh, this ain't even that dirty. I'm still gonna do a complete rebuild of this. I promise a deep clean, and that's what she's gonna get. Let's see, this kind of board because it has. Wow, this is a really good board. It looks like they want a complete gigabyte on this. Um, it has four. X16 PCIe slots, as well as two X1s. It has a slot for a uh, M.2. Let's see, it doesn't say NVMe, so it's probably just M.2 drive. Uh, go ahead and get the RAM out. Now, because it has a top PCIe slot on it, these bottom ones do not have. Oh, how should I call it? Tabs. She has Vengeance LPX DDR4. These are 4 gigabytes each. This is actually a kit for 4 4 gigabyte. When you do quad channel memory, try to get 
a four four eh, a kit that has four sticks each. This way they're properly matched up with timings. Finish getting those out. Well, that's dusty. I promise I have seen worse. For future proof of that, check out my uh, upcoming videos on my servers. Uh -huh. Now, to make sure I remember which ones these went in, we're going to close the tabs on the ones that are gray. So this way these go back in the exact same slots. Okay, set these to the side. Uh, next we'll go ahead and finish disconnecting the cables. I really want this board. <laughs> oh, now let's see. Disconnect 24 pin power supply. Connector. Oi, come on girl. There we go. And the 8 pin power connector for the CPU. Disconnect the 140 millimeter fan. Huh. Looks like they used the proper screws for the motherboard. Go ahead and get this out of here. <clears throat> oh wow. To get this cage out, two screws on the bottom. Now the good part is, it looks like the, this case maker literally used the same screws for everything. Wait a minute. I'm going to refund your money on the SSD brackets because it didn't need it. Come to find out, your case, and I didn't see this because of how bottom this was, has a drive sled. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. That I can literally hook that SSD to. So I will be refunding your money on the SSD brackets. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the 140 out and throw it away. And we're going to use Noctua's low, not low, eh. We're going to use Noctua's little, like, rubber thingies. I can't remember what to call it off the top of my head. Simply put, oh, anti-vibration something. But anyways, they stop noise pretty well, actually. Um, I'm not sure if you saw it when I showed the introduction, but my Windows 98 computer, I use those on those fans. There that comes. Oh, my poor back. Also, heads up. Had to work on my car. My back is killing me. Let's see, my hands. And then do this, and you can see that's even. This case is getting a deep clean in my cleaner. Whoever the who is this case maker? Ow! No concern for me in the gallery. This is. There's no way. Wow! This computer is like five years old. Check this out. It still has a peel. Oh. Anyways. This is an Anna D's case. It looks like it's full height. Uh, here it is, because I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. Alright, next let's go ahead and finish getting this motherboard out of here. USB 3.0 All the connectors 
USB, HD audio, and let's see. Now comes the part I'm gonna hate. Uh, I got a whole track of screws. Well, I do have my new screw kit for computer screws. Oh well. I'll just store them with the rest. Because these are surprisingly only two sets of screws so far. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can get you all a closer up look. Look up, whatever. Let's see. Should be one right here. Woohoo! Hey, computer case got the camera. Good job, computer case. Oh. Now, full size ATX boards will normally use anywhere from 9 to 10K screws. Like, my uh, old TP55 Biostar board had two screws here, which made a total of 10. This one only has 9 from the looks of it. Now you're probably asking, why am I going through all this trouble? Take a look at the motherboard. She needs a deep clean. Now, oh my back. Normally, whenever I do deep cleans, it can be for any number of reasons. Like this case is just full of dust. And I'd rather look nice and clean. Have very good presentation. Also, if you noticed, this is like the 4-pin connector for the power supply uh, CPU. And it connects here, and as you can see, there's plenty of grommets and stuff to run this cable through for cable management. I mean, yeah, they did a decent job with the video card, but... Oh, and you're going to see it even worse once you take a look at the back. Let's see, that is now free from its little home. Go ahead and pull it on out. <clears throat> And there's the board. Surprisingly, it's not that dirty. I'm still going to go ahead and take everything off so that I can get it properly deep cleaned. Go ahead and set this over here. Oi. Mm. See, what I like about this case as well, it has a really, as you can see, deep back to it. I can literally get my hand under there. Alright, next step will be the power supply, and this power supply is fully modular. That means I can go yoink, yoink, ow, hand. Come on, girl. Okay, also be careful when you do this because these cables will become stiff over time. Okay, this will go over here. And what I like about fully modular, I can actually clean these cables up really nice. Now, something I would have done differently, if you notice how this fan is pointed, this is sucking all that air and crap, all the dust and crap, through the top of the case, from the inside. That will technically add heat into here, and, but if you notice, it has a mesh filter on the bottom. So whenever I go to put this together, I'm going to flip it all the way around so it's properly... Oi. Properly, um, I'm blanking. So it can get proper airflow and cool itself off without introducing heat to the case. Oh. One more cable. Now, as you notice, these are ran pretty much through the case. Could have been better, though. Mm. However, I will say this, whoever built this, and this is custom... They did a 
better job than about 90% of the stuff I've seen. Uh, but there's still room for improvement. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get the power supply out. And then we'll work on getting the cables, fans, and the rest of the equipment out. Uh, good news is, take a look at both screws. They use the same exact screws for just about everything. So the hex heads are used for the power supply for the motherboard. Take a look at this. And not this. This is actually a free mount. Huh. Toolless. Oh, now the reason you don't want toolless screws on a motherboard, one, they're big and bulky. And two, because they're big and bulky, they might hit a capacitor or something, cause a short. You never know. It's just better to stick with something small when you're mounting a motherboard. Uh, let's see, back to removing screws for the power supply. Clink, 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 clink. Also, I'm curious to why they got a strap for the power supply in here. One last screw! I need sleep. And here she comes. I always try to carefully take out components. Oh yeah, that's going to be cleaned. Surprisingly, it's not... Wait a minute, is this one of those... Look at this. I'm not sure, but this might be one of those where, uh... It just don't spin up unless it gets hot. Like, I see very little dust inside there. And I'm not going to dismantle it. I'm going to clean it the best I can and ask her what she wants done. Uh, because this is still under warranty. And that's just a little shocking. Yeah, it's still under warranty. Huh. Um, so, there's a debate. They said that we're supposed to be a lot of server selling products. But yet, these are here. I'm not going to get into that debate. I If I need to clean one of my own power supplies, I will personally remove it. I will be very careful, and I will do my best to discharge caps and stuff, and I'll clean it up, because dust does generate heat. It basically keeps, it soaks heat up, allowing it to, well, cause them to get hotter. And heat is the enemy of all computers, because the hotter something gets, the less its lifespan is. That's one of the reasons I went all Noctua on the Windows 98 computer you saw. Put that over there. Now. My poor bed sheet's gonna need wash. Woohoo! No, that was not planned. So, next step back panel. Now, oh. I might need that in there. Come here, you. Silly bracket. Wait. No. This is my bracket. Okay. Perils of having the exact same parts as other people. <coughs> now, as you see, there's a fan header in here. And it's actually mounted. And they did zip tie some of this. Um, and there's even two SSD mounts in the back, people. I honestly apologize. I did not know that those were there. I... I'm only refunding you at least $20. I honestly apologize. Because now I feel like a complete and utter idiot. Alright, next work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook all the Noctuas up to this. And uh, let this actually run them. They're very quiet fans, but they're very powerful. <laughs> That's bunnies! Oh, there's that. See another cable? Crap. 
I'm pausing the video so I can go to my car and get my snips. Okay. Okay, so I went to my car, I got my snips, got my zip ties. Compressed air. Because this is getting dusted before I start wiping it down. And, uh... By the way, what I use is rubbing alcohol when I do this. That's not for an 80 mm I want this case! Okay, now that I got that out of my system. Uh... What I use to clean cases and stuff is normal household products that I have tested and tried, such as rubbing alcohol, things like that. Um, surprisingly, if you need to clean the outside of a case, Windex does a pretty good job. Uh, just don't use it on brushed aluminum, please. I've had issues with that. Now, the reason I had to get my snips for this, as you can see, any bitty cable ties, and I don't want to use a knife, because I don't want to cause damage to any cables. So, hey. See. What the hell is this? Really? Don't tell me. Yes, they did. Why is... Why? Why is that up there? I'm going to take a look at that in a minute. Now, I'm also going to pop out the IO shield so I can give it a nice little clean polish. Put that over by the motherboard. Uh, let's see. Next comes the case fans. See how I pop this front cover off. Now this one looks like just a pop. Get some compressed air to double check. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now I'm gonna ow, ow. More blood to the PC gods. Uh, the reason these were out in my car is because I also recently worked on my car. Oh, see how good this stuff is. I promise that will not hurt the case. It's literally just frost. Now, something I would suggest doing, and yes, I'll be giving you a can of this, um, is dust, uh, you can use these to dust these out. Just make sure the computer's not on. Uh, I've never had issues with the fans spinning at like a million RPM. And, uh, frying connectors and stuff. Oh, wait. Also, these come with a nice little... Okay, so yeah, these are just snaps. <laughs> no comment. Uh, I better put that away before I get sidetracked. But yeah, this case is only just little snaps. So, if I'm right... There we go! Okay, I'm going to put this back on so y'all can see it. Now, don't do this unless you have checked. Make sure there's no screws in the front panel. And, uh, well, after you make sure, sometimes the bottom will have a nice little handhold area. No, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's not why it's there, but... I promise, I have seen worse. No wonder I was having so much trouble cleaning this. This is a very nice fish mat in here. Uh, anyways. Uh, set that to the side. Set this with the cables. Oh. Okay, uh, let's see if I can get this adjusted to the stand up. Go ahead and get uh, 
Thanks for that. Front fans from Ow, my foot! People? If you want to sign a video, I'll make a video for you. Press the like. Dude, my foot. Oh, 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 now. I have still seen words, because if you notice, this is more of a literal dust than anything. Like, I've done work for people that have no money, and cockroaches. Let's leave it at that. But this, this is very well done. I'm asking her where she got this case. I want a copy of it. Anyways, uh, some people take shortcuts on this. And, no, I'm not talking about power drill taking these out. No, I'm talking about when they install the fans. They, uh, take a shortcut. What they do is they will only put two screws in diagonally. Don't do that because that will just introduce vibration and it will cause noise. Unless you have crap fans and they're going to cause noise anyways. And yes, it is upside down. Where's my can here? Okay, I'm putting this away before I get in trouble again. Okay, make sure you're still recording. Let's see. Oh. Okay, just make sure I still got battery. Now, a lot of my footage has been corrupted several times, and I am now using a slightly different camera that can let me connect in, like a different drive up to it instead of just a micro SD card. And, uh,. That's another one for the trash heap. And uh, I'm going to see how this camera pans out. I will post the link in a future video of how it works. Well, my review on it. Ha, ha, ha. This reminds me of my Ryzen build. Y'all remember that, don't you? Where I had to literally take all my components out of that case and all new components on the inside. Worth it, though. Although, I'm currently thinking of selling it because uh, I need a transmission for my car just so I can continue to work and bring quality videos. Yeah, videos to you all. That is... Ow! More trash. Uh... Wow, these are the actual fans for the case from the case maker itself. Where is that other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that one's also from the case maker. People, never. There are some cases out there that have good fans, but never, ever, ever, ever trust a case fan from the manufacturer of the case. Yeah, they glow pretty and stuff on occasion. But would you rather have a computer that might last forever? And point in case my Windows 98 computer. Or would you rather... Well, my chest hurts. Ugh. A nice, quiet, cool PC that you will never hear running. Mm. Oh, next time. Where? Lay. Wait. Out you go. Put the zip ties out. This last cable. I'll put you with the other cables and the front panel. Uh. Okay. Why do you have a front panel power connector? Take a look at you here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, that's cracking. I will put a new end on this. Oh. That's why I have that on there. It's a literal power connector for the front. Uh, I'm not sure why it has that. Let me trace it real quick. That connects to the front. Huh. And here's all the cables for the front. USB 3, HD audio, 
regular USB 2.0, all your little bits for power and stuff. I always put these on outside the case. I cannot stress that enough. The amount of times I've cut my fingers because I forgot to do that. And watch me do it on this build. It's too many times. Hmm. I wonder. Okay. I see why it has these two connectors on the front. If you look right here, it has a fan control. However, we are going to use it, and I'll let her know about that. I would always suggest leaving it on high because of the kind of fans I'm putting in here, but that's really neat. But anyways, this video has gone on long enough. Next video will be me literally cleaning and cleaning and... Where's my cloth? I'm going to see how good this, easy this is going to be. Wait, come here cloth. No, no, don't open that. You don't. I'm doing a YouTube video. Looks like this is going to come clean nice and easy. I mean, I've got stuff like this. But you've noticed it scrapes right up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that with some, uh, probably ice purple alcohol. That should come right up then. But as you can see, wow, that's a funny strap in a hole. <laughs> Come on, Jess Bunny. It actually is coming clean quite easy. Now, when I come across stubborn stuff like the front case, I'll use a toothbrush. You can buy them like six pack at Walmart for a dollar. And I normally use those for cleaning products because they're very good at scrubbing. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, next video will be me cleaning all of this hardware. Heal me. Seriously, that was a joke. Y'all have a good night.